transit vessel and are securing the area. The vessel has suffered extensive structural damage, but its particle fields still maintain a minimal atmosphere within the ship. And our cargo? It's being brought aboard. Soon, teams will be dispatched to the target sites. Do the Republic forces suspect? No, Mandalore. The proton cores do not emit a signature the Republic ships can detect. If they do pick up the signal, they will assume it to be emanating from the ship's missile bays. Did you get an ID signature on this vessel? You were right about the vessel, Mandalore. It is of Malachor. It still bears the wounds of Mandalorian guns. Then let's finish this. And remind the galaxy of Malachor V. What was that about? Nothing you need to worry about, Sith. You are coming with me. Don't get all sentimental. I just don't trust you to get the job done. Been waiting for this for ten years. It's just time to do things the old-fashioned way. I know what it meant for you to accompany me here, Candorus of Clan Ordo. Your trust honors me. If you betray me or my men, I will kill you. I was going to say the same, Candorus. <laughs> Life is yours. You've reached one of the target sites. Place the proton core, prime it, then give the signal, Mandalore. Arming signal received, Mandalore. The proton core is active. We still need to set three more charges. Mandalore, we're holding our position, but the Sith appear to be offering little resistance. It's like they don't even realize we're here. This My life is yours. Something you need. How do I serve?
I would like to center myself. There is a meditation chamber within my cell that I would visit one last time. 
Past the surface, there is the Force. Where once there was a world that was strong in the Force, now there is a barren wasteland. It's okay. It's gonna be good. It has taken time for me to return here. I lost my way. But I've been stronger for the journey. What happens now shall not be done out of hate or revenge, but for the sake of all life. And I ask you finally to forgive me. This body is a prison. Last of the Mandalore, we can destroy the ship on your command. Stripping Onderon, my soldiers, my home from me, only to have me die here. He happened. The hunger that fills this vessel. It is power, but it consumes without end. It is that power we felt on Onderon, that Vaklu felt. 
It was an echo, too strong to ignore. General Vaklu and I, when it seemed that we would need more to take Onderon, make it strong again, he came with his power, his soldiers. It seemed as if there was nothing we could not do. Nothing the Queen could do to stop us. I have served the wrong master. He cares nothing for Onderon, its soldiers, its people. Everything exists to feed his will. I came here, to this dead ship, and now he will not permit me to leave. This ship, it is a graveyard of a terrible battle. Everything on it slowly dies, as long as he hungers. It is the way of all life that serves him. In his presence, all life dies. This ship is from Malachor. This Sith Lord of yours bolsters his fleet with ships from that world? He's nothing more than a scavenger. I think he is of that place. If so, then his power may be great indeed. Greater than I had thought. The Master suffers. If he cannot feed, then the hunger begins to consume him. The planet, Telos, he may feed on something upon its surface to sustain him a while longer. You think to lie to me still? I will not be deceived again. I told him, you know, what the old woman told me. I told him of the Academy here, of the Jedi here. I could not have kept it from him, even if I had wanted to. He means that Jedi witch you travel with, Kreia. Yes, the old woman on Onderon. She spoke of the Jedi Academy here on Telos, and my master was forced to come here. Then her lies will mean the planet's destruction. He will destroy all of Telos. He will turn it to fire again and crush the planet beneath him. He will devour them all, murder them all. If there are no Jedi here, then my lord cannot feed his hunger. He will destroy the planet, the station. He will cleanse it of life. Even if the people below are not Force-sensitive, the small amount he can feed on from the mass destruction of the station and the life on the planet will sustain him a while longer. And if there are no Jedi below, he will have no other choice. Then he will suffer. Without something to sustain him, I do not know what will happen. He will create nothing. He will end this place. Your old woman has killed this planet, and with it, countless other worlds that depend on its survival. You could not stop him even if you wanted to. And you cannot escape either. If the Force runs through you, he will feed on it when Citadel Station dies. Your time, your life, will end here. On the bridge. He waits on the bridge. Waiting for you. No, he does not wait for you. I do not believe he knows his ship has been boarded. And if he did, he would not care. The extent of his power cannot be put into words. And his perceptions have grown as well. To him... You are dust motes in a storm. A grain upon the beach. And as insignificant as a body that orbits the graveyard of Malachor. Fight him if you will. But if he turns his power upon you, you will be destroyed. This ship, is it his weakness? It should not exist, yet it cruises the darkness between the stars. He tore it from the mass shadows of Malachor, along with his fleet. That is a measure of his power. <laughs> this ship is barely holding itself together. The structural damage should have destroyed it long ago. He holds it together. And he keeps us all alive. Just enough. Like rot worms within a dying beast. Ha. More Jedi tricks. No. Not Jedi. Not Jedi at all. If he's so powerful, why hasn't he stopped us then? We've attacked his ship, killed his soldiers, and he's done nothing. It is because he sees planets, stars, not people. To him, the planet below, the station with its teeming life. Only that 
is massive enough to demand his attention. There is nothing to be done except wait. If you go to him, he will destroy you, and your last moments shall be of shadow and pain. Onderon. But there's no longer any need. You are right. As long as he exists, Onderon is in danger. The galaxy is in danger. What would you have me do? Go report to the target site, Colonel. I'll let my men know you're coming. And if you try anything stupid, they'll shoot you dead. I will do as you ask. For Onderon's sake. We should... Life is yours. Life is yours. My life is yours. Something you 